Hey, hey. So today I'm going to take a look at 2019 Topps Allen and Ginter Retail. So I picked up these three different retail products from Target just today. They came out in uh, Wednesday. Today is Thursday, so they put these out today. So I got three different varieties, everything that they had in terms of different types of packs from Target. So here we have, this is a 14 card pack, sort of a jumbo pack. This is a value pack, so you get three standard retail packs and three exclusive gold parallels, and then a blaster box. So this was, this was about five bucks, I believe. This one was 10, and the blaster was $19.99, which comes with seven packs, plus one extra card, one extra pack, excuse me, with, uh, with that bonus pack. So let's take a look at them and see what we get. We'll start with, uh, Start with the single jumbo pack here. See what uh, what we come up with. All right. Take a look here if you want to pause it and look at all the uh, retail odds. There you go. Base card glossy parallel is a one in four thousand one hundred and four. That's the first one listed. So more value than traditional single pack. Here we go, a nice borderless looking card, very nice. Little Roger Clemens Mini. Bonos. Sammy. Little uh, Jeff Brantley Mini. Oh, look nice. It's a uh, nice little, it's a uh, black back maybe. We're going to have to find out what the title of that is, but looks a little different than our other mini, so it's obviously a uh, short print, maybe a uh, Brooklyn back version. We'll have to do a little research on that. I'll tell you what that is after. There we go. There's a, uh, the Worlds of Flight, History of Flight insert. Donnie Baseball. And short print security tag an Allen and Ginter back, so one in three in retail. Allen and Ginter short print variation uh, mini. All right, let's get on to this, uh, this value pack here. The three standard retail packs inside uh, one bigger package. And you get three exclusive gold parallels, so it comes with a little separate three card pack here. So you got your one, your two, your three, and then a little parallel that comes in a clear, transparent, everybody can see who they are. I like the, uh, the look of these cards. I, I've gotten used to the non-baseball variation, you know, type cards, the little off the wall. I don't, not my favorite thing, but I've kind of come to appreciate them. Uh, but the cards are beautiful looking. All right, David Price, and David Price in his battle now with Eck. Uh, I'm gonna assume he's a poker player. Byron Buxton. This is a, uh, is a Altuve. Looks like it is a another uh, Allen and Ginter back. The incredible equipment, old Stormalongs harpoon, of course, of course, and D Gordon. Oh, maybe we could get old Stormalong Auto. Obviously, the the non-baseball autos are pretty cool in their own right. Here's uh, Lourdes Curiel, Daniel Murphy. Daryl, my favorite player growing up. Nice to see that. It's pretty sick. I like that. Nice little uh, baseball star signs uh, insert. There we go. Nice. A uh, Tommy Lasorda. Um, Mini, I like that, and Eva Longoria. I'll, I'll check these all for short prints and everything after, since it's the first time I'm opening. If you like Allen and Ginter, I actually have some case breaks that are ending on Sunday. Some Allen and Ginter uh, 
quarter case brakes, 349 shipping. I'll put the link in the description. You can get in on those. There's all the typical 30 team spots and then the non baseball spot if that's uh, if that's your thing. Mookie, nice stand usual. Something blue coming up. I don't know, probably a, a flight card. Cobb, oh, got a little uh, collectible canines, a little English bulldog. Gotta love that. I had an English bulldog when I was younger, so I appreciate that card quite a bit. She kind of looked a little bit like that. She was a white English bulldog. Kind of cool. A history of flight card. Those are nice looking cards, I think. And uh, then a uh, Miles Nicholas to round that out. Let's take a look at the uh, exclusive gold mini parallels and see, uh, see what we've got to offer here. I don't like that they come in a clear, transparent wrapper. It takes away any of the suspense, mystery, and or fun of all of this, but parallels and exclusives are always nice regardless. So here we go. We got these three. We got JT Real Muto, Paul DeJong, and Trevor Story. So these are basically similar with a gold border as opposed to the standard traditional no border or the black border variation. Uh, last but never least, let's uh, take a look here at this 1999 blaster box and see what uh, see what comes of it. Security tag so that when you do self checkout, it'll scream like a Chewbacca. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven and one bonus, or eight. David Price again. Oh, I got a Corgi this time around for my collectible canines mini. I prefer the Bulldog, but nonetheless, it's kind of cool. A cool photo of a plane and Schwartz. Who is Schwartz? He's an eclectic entertainer that knows no borders. I'll have to look him up now. Hoping for something cool. Ernie, George, Tim, or Rock. A nice George Brett. I like that. Taurus. I'm a Taurus. I don't really, not really into astrological signs, but. That's uh, what I am. I guess I'm headstrong, Robin Yount. And Yaz. Jan, Tori, Lando, the Ginter Greats, Ted Williams. Ooh, new to the zoo. In a different animal variety, I got a tiger cub. Kind of cool. And McCutcheon. I do like that. They're different. I I have come to appreciate them. I hated them at first. Uh, now I kind of like them. Kind of, you know, think they're they're different. They're off the wall. They're definitely catering to people that like different kinds of things. Nolan Ryan with some big giant eyes. Uh, Tommy Lasorda again. I like that. Uh, Jose Abreu, uh, Alan and Ginter back. Oh, we got dupes of old Stormalong's Harpoon. Man. And hey, nice Pete Alonzo rookie. That's a nice uh, little pickup. Cool looking photo. I like the way that the photos look like uh, old fashioned paintings. Definitely a cool card though. The bags with his. Uh, Big old goatee. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton. Ooh. First uh, thoroughbred mares and stallions that we've gotten. That's cool. Here we go. This is kind of cool looking. This is a Tasmanian language. Lost languages. Tasmanian language. Mini. Steve Carlton and Adrian Beltre. Lost languages. Also known as dead languages. Is Latin a dead language? That's what some would say. Juan gone. 
Shoemaker, Warren Spawn. Wearing a collared shirt underneath that. Hey, there's a nice card. Babe Ruth. Black Border Mini. That's pretty sick. I like that. Nice little Black Border Parallel Mini. And a Frank Thomas, who's a Gemini. Likes walks on the beach as well. A little cool insert. Here we have two more to go. Two more. It was a cool... Uh, I'll have to look at the odds and see what the mini black parallel odds are. See how, how we did there. Carpenter, Diaz, Savi Perez, standard mini, Ozzy Albies, Dan Cobb, and Brian Yarbrough. I'll have to look up his first name because I didn't remember. Last one of this blaster, and then we'll do a quick recap to check out some of the cool things that we got, including our Thoroughbred horse. So Whit Merrifield, Alan and Ginter back. First flights and Jose Canseco looking pretty juiced. All right, let's do a quick recap. All right, so a quick recap. Looked at the checklist, made sure I was on checking out the short prints. So um, these are. That's an ad, Michael Brantley, Allen and Ginter back, and that's a Jose Altuve, Allen and Ginter back. This is a Lasorda short print mini. It's the Brantley, that's a Robin Yout short print mini. That's a Bulldog just because I like it. And the Black Border Babe Ruth mini. In terms of regular cards, we had Sweet Pete Alonzo rookie. Tommy Lasorda is a, a short print, standard short print. Daryl Strawberry is a short print. Warren Spahn's a short print. Sammy Sosa was a short print. Tim Raines was a short print. And Edwin Encarnacion. So pretty cool product overall this year. I like it. I like the variety. I like the minis. I like the overall design as they've kind of stuck with it over the years. So like I said, if this is something you like, check out the upcoming case breaks I have ending this Sunday. Also have ending this Saturday some 2019 Optic. So either of those, uh, get in for a pretty good price and check it out and we'll do it together. Thanks, everybody. Totally appreciate you hitting the thumbs up and giving this a like and subscribing to the channel. Have a great day.